Hey everybody, welcome to another Goody Reader Comparison video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we're going to give you a nighttime reading test with the Kobo Aura HD and the new Kobo Arc. So we're basically looking at backlit display versus frontlit display, e-ink versus a tablet. And both of these devices reflect the latest in the Kobo's product line. So the Arc is their newest tablet, the Aura HD is their newest e-reader, and most people say, you know, what's the difference between an e-reader and a tablet? You know, uh, what are the things I can do? What are the things I can't do? What are the differences between frontlit and backlit? So these are the things that we're going to explain today and also give you a sense on how in a dark environment, when you're, say, reading in, at night, reading in a shade, uh, on an airplane, how these things play out in real-world conditions. We're going to turn on the Aura by pressing and holding the top button. And we're going to tap the top button on the Kobo Arc to turn it on as well. Now we have set these both to 50% brightness, both on the front light on this and the back light on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the brightness settings. We'll start with the Kobo Arc. We're going to go to settings. Then we're going to click on display, which is already highlighted. Then we're going to go up to brightness. From there, you have a slider bar. Now, what we're going to do is turn on the Aura's brightness, and we're both at 50%. So, you can tell right off the bat that this has a lot more blacks because it is running Android, and you see that their theme is pretty much black when you go into any settings menu, whereas this is very white because it makes more sense for a black and white device to have more whites than blacks, not to drown anything out. So we're going to turn this all the way down just to show you guys its lowest settings possible. So you can see there both devices are fairly dark on camera and in the studio I mean it's kind of readable but it's not comfortable. It's, it's a little too dark to see anything. So this isn't exactly the most comfortable setting. So this is why they both have slider bars so you can find that good middle ground. Now we're going to turn these both up to max and then we'll evaluate it from there. So obviously, you know, with this black screen, it's hard to see anything. So we'll, we'll look at the main home screen to give you a little bit of color. So on Max, I mean, this is almost like a little bit too bright. It's like almost like a little bit overwhelming. It, it looks brighter on camera than it actually looks in the studio. This actually looks fairly crisp, but you kind of want to find that sweet spot. We'll go to about 69%. So we're going to open a book on both of these just to show you guys what it is like to actually read on these devices with a front light versus a back light. And here it is. So obviously, both of these are relatively about like the same size. Uh, the Kobo Arc is 7 inches, while the Kobo Aura HD is 6.8 inches. The Kobo actually Aura has higher resolution than than the Arc does. Now, when you look at so sort of the e-book reading experience, you can see that this text is really popping out. This text is almost like a little bit smaller. It's a little bit um, it, the, the blacks aren't as deep, and that's one of the major advantages with e-ink is that the text has most often a higher degree contrast. Of, of contrast and like saturation. There are some things you can do to soften this harsh white because this is very readable at night not to disturb your partner and it actually doesn't even agitate your eyes. You can read this for hours on end. Whereas this is an LCD screen. For the most part it's no different than a TV, computer screen, or a cell phone. So it can, depending on how you react to those kinds of screens, it can irritate your eyes. Yeah, I mean, how this core technology works is the light is emitting from a film underneath here up. Right. This, the light is emitting from be on the bottom of the screen and distributing it up this way. So rather than it coming at your eyes, it's evenly distributing the screen, whereas this is coming at your eyes. Exactly. So we're going to click on the little sunshine guy here. And you have three different modes. So you have classic, which is the harsh white. You can soften that by choosing sepia or sepia. Now you're starting to see a little bit of the same picture here. Or you can choose night mode, which actually reverses the blacks to whites. So I think that's a little less hard on the eyes 
than the harsh white and becomes instantly more readable. But when it all comes down to it, with these two devices, the are, these are both the latest devices from Kobo, you are reading a backlight versus a front light. And no matter what, a backlight is going to bother your eyes more. Yeah, I mean, look at the settings that we can engage here. We could have three options to change the fonts. And we have a slider bar to change like the heights of the fonts. Whereas with this, we can change the fonts to many different types here. You can see most of the options here. And with the Kobo Aura, we can actually load in our own font. So if you found Times New Roman, Arial, uh, Comic Sans, uh, even Windings, right? Uh, I mean, yeah. if you wanted to read a book in Windings. If you want to challenge yourself. Yeah, exactly. I wonder if you could win a Kobo Reading Life Award for that. Um, any, in any case, they have even advanced features here where you get a before and after, adjust like the weight, adjust the sharpness. You can make the text like look blacker if you wanted to. Um, there is a ton of options here, whereas most Android reading apps do not go this deep in terms of functionality. So I would probably say from a pure e-reading point of view, if you're a fan of books, I would get the Aura HD hands down over most e-readers and tablets on the market. What are the differences between an e-reader and a tablet? Well, when it comes down to it, you're getting this to read books, comic books, manga, um, things like that. You're more like getting a tablet to check email, do Facebook, surf the internet in full color, be able to watch your videos, listen to music right. and things like that. But it's distracting. When you're it reading is. a book, do you really want to see game updates pop down on your <laughs> Android notification bar or uh, get emails or um, status updates, tweets coming at you? Exactly. Anytime those things happen on Android, you get these little notifications which sort of take you out of that reading experience. So when it comes to e-readers and tablets from a pure reading point of view, a dedicated e-reader like the Kobo Aura gives you less distractions than an Android tablet, but you kind of lose out on a lot of the videos, the music, and, and the audiobooks, you know, even things like that. So it's a personal decision on what is right for you, but I think that the Aura does a tremendous job with just reading. If you look at this, they're both at about the same levels of uh, illumination. And you could really see that this is really bright, a little bit overwhelming. These blacks are not true blacks, where if you look at this, I mean, you can play around to your heart's content on how deep do you want the blacks on the text. What fonts are you a fan of? Line spacing, margins, whereas you can't do that with this. So Right, and remember, this is a tablet first and e-reader second, so you're going to get anywhere between 9 and 15 hours of battery life. On this, you're going to get anywhere between 5 to 7 weeks of battery life. So we're talking a month, a month plus. Testify. So you've heard our comments. We want to hear yours. Please comment on this video and uh, let us know your thoughts questions, concerns, or ideas for future videos. And uh, for a, all of our other videos, you can check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash goodyreader. And for all the latest news, previews, interviews, and industry coverage, check out our website at goodyreader.com. And for a comparison of the Kobo Aura HD versus the Kobo Arc, for goodyreader.com, my name is Michael. And this is Peter. Everybody take care.